You may have plenty of company this weekend. If your plans involve camping, the United States' largest campground company, KOA, reports sales are higher for a record sixth year in a row. It expects the number of Labor Day campers to be up 20 percent compared to last year. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg is at the Black Bear Campground in Florida, New York, with what's driving the rebound. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. You know, camping has historically been a great barometer of the American economy. Low unemployment leads to more discretionary spending for things like camping. And in fact, as you just said, the campgrounds across America this week will be full. But what's interesting, perhaps even surprising, is how many millennials are now investing in the great outdoors. Images of millennials on RV road trips and outdoor adventures have filled social media all summer long. Hashtag camping posts on Instagram are now over 14 million. The popular trend is keeping employees in this Elkhart County, Indiana factory working at a record pace to produce more than 70,000 recreational vehicles by the end of the year. So Jeff, in this one plant, how many are you doing today? We're doing uh, 42 today. Jeff Runnels is the president of Keystone RV, a subsidiary of the world's largest manufacturer. And the numbers that I've seen, that your sales year over year, at least in the last year, up 20%. Yeah, we're expecting it to be just as high, if not higher, next year. Keystone's best sellers are lower cost models, which they're marketing to millennials. This is uh, home sweet home, huh? Yes, sir. But the newest generation to the RV market is buying at all price points. Amenities in this RV include an electric fireplace and retractable TV. So all the comforts of home? Yeah. Right here. Eric Hartman and his wife Mia moved from Nebraska to a KOA campground in Mystic, Connecticut, close to Mia's job as a traveling nurse. <laughs> and affordable for you? Yeah, super affordable. How much does this thing sell for? Um, probably 40, 50,000, roughly. But you can amortize it over a long period of time? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can get your payments down to like $170 a month. That's right. With a 10-year bank loan, payments can be under $200 a month. Add the optional cost of a campsite, and you can live just about anywhere. And for the millennials now driving RV sales, that's the point. They're just getting into the workforce for the first time. An RV is a great way to travel, decide where you want to settle, save some money because it is a very affordable lifestyle, and then set up your life from there. Allison Lego Leonard was raised camping. Now she works alongside her husband, Kent, at the KOA in Mystic where she's the general manager. There's 75 million campers out there, and one-third, 38% of us are millennials. So, I mean, it, we're catching up, we're catching on, and I think it's something that's becoming more popular with us. This one is actually designed around the millennial buyer. And wow. manufacturers are well, doing their best to keep up. Wow. Providing modern finishes like stainless steel and adding millennial must-haves like solar and Wi-Fi. A lot of people are, are traveling and they're working from their RV. They want that Wi-Fi so they can go hook up to a camper and go and travel the country, but still be able to run their business from a remote place. With more buyers, more people out there, that lifestyle's just taken off, and so we've come back strong. And strong RV sales means more jobs. A big deal in a part of the country where the unemployment rate was over 15% in the last recession. And you're running at full employment. Full employment, above full employment, as amazing as that is. Wow, what's the unemployment in this county right now? It's below 3% right now. And of course, as you go back into 2008, 2009, we were leading the country for unemployment rate. And it's not just full employment, it's full production. All those RVs we saw on the line in Elkhart, Indiana, they've already been sold. In fact, this year, the RV industry will sell more than 400,000 units. That's the most in their history. Glad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Peter Greenberg, thank you very much.